In this video, we learn about the topic named as if else condition. Now, I'll take an example for this if else condition. What the example will be? I'll take the number from the user as an input. I want to classify as a positive number and negative number. So there are two conditions which I've classified. So for that, I need to have the condition named as if else condition. So you can see here, what I'll do is I'll create a blank test as the input from the user and then I'll decide whether it's a valid number or it's an invalid number. So you can see here, I'll create a blank test, right click on the solution untitled, add new test. The name of the test I'll give as if else condition create. Here what I'll do is I'll declare a variable as value and I'll ask the user to insert some value in this input box. enter positive number and I'll just click on this run button. I'll click on this run. So if I enter this number in this input box, you can see this input box. If I enter some number, let's say 90, okay, enter positive number, I've inserted 90. And if I click on, okay, it will work fine. Okay, but there's no result. It says the test has been passed. But now I want to check whether the number is valid or invalid. So I have to put the condition as if else condition. So again, I'll go back to this place and I'll write here as if condition. The moment I type if and press a space bar, you see there's answer given as if true, then end if. So that is the syntax given here. So what I want is if the value is greater than zero, I want a message to be displayed. The number is positive or number is valid. If the number is less than zero, I say the number is invalid. So what is the value I have to put equal to if value is greater than zero, then message box valid number else message box invalid number okay so, so you can see here i've put as if i've put some condition here then i will message box something that is a valid number else again it will be a message box invalid number so let us see if it's working fine or not i'll click on this run button and uh, I'll click on run. I've got this input box here. You can see here. Now, if I enter some number, let's say 90, and if I click on this place as OK, so I'll get the message box as valid number, so which is working fine. I'll just click on this OK button. After that, the execution is done. That is passed totally. But now what I'll do is I'll try to insert in the second part as less than zero number. So I'll just click on this run button and click on run. Okay, so in this place, now I'll insert some value which is less than zero. If I put as minus 90, okay, so now it should come at this place. It should come directly to this else message. If I click on okay, okay, now if you see, it has come to this place, that is message box invalid number. And I've got the output as invalid number. So I'll just click on this okay part and still the result will show as positive. That is means it has been passed. So I hope you have understood how to insert a if else condition into your script. It can be used at various places when you go for the advanced coding part. That's all for this video right now.